Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to the Thursday, October 31st spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Joy Wesley was called to the Body and Soul office by Kate Roberts Brady, who then informed Joy that she had been cast as Reagan Holloway. On Thursday's episode of Days, Johnny DeMera discussed the turmoil of the celebration following his alleged affair when Marlena Evans paid him a late birthday present at the DeMera home. Chanel DeMera praised Abe Carver for allowing her to stay at the condo he shared with Paulina Price, while Johnny feared she would never forgive him. Chanel bemoaned Johnny's lack of trust in her and accused him of assuming she would have been having an affair with Robert Scott Wilson's character, Alex Kiriakis, on set. On Thursday's episode of Days, Seth Burns, Bruce Beatty, attempted to apologize to Stephanie Johnson at the hospital for unintentionally revealing her love for Alex, but she wasn't particularly responsive. Johnny later told Chanel how sorry he was and opened out to her. Kate appeared with information on the appointment of Joy as the new Reagan Holloway after Johnny questioned whether Chanel was prepared to put this behind them. Joy showed in and gave Johnny a tense look, but Johnny smiled even though he knew she was the same girl he had cheated on the other night. Johnny certainly gave off the impression that he was trying to hide his shock and nervousness. Leo Stark, Greg Rickard, had a complex nightmare in which Reagan was Arrow's vindictive ex-wife. In a whodunit, a masked assailant stabbed several people throughout Pineview, including Arrow. The police, which included Johnny as a detective and Abe as the commissioner, were determined to put Arrow in jail since he kept touching the knife and made mistakes. Prior to Reagan being a victim of the Pineview plunger, Arrow blamed Reagan for pursuing Chanel and his mother, Cassandra Lovegood, Judy Evans. Reagan's best friend, Miranda, Abigail Klein, acknowledged that Reagan was conspiring with someone to get even. Charlemagne Delacroix, Deidre Hall, was that co-conspirator, and he returned from the dead just to be slain once more. Before it was discovered that everyone was still alive on an island known as Wivenip, Pineview spelled backwards, more bodies were added to the mound. Daze's reference to the Meliswen myth was clear. Eventually, Leo showed in and declared that he was in charge of everything as the lead writer for Body and Soul. But when Marlena showed up wearing the Pineview plunger disguise, she was furious because Leo had disregarded her requests for the one-day work. Leo appeared to wake up in his bed, but Stephanie arrived outside his door and stabbed him to increase body and soul's ratings. Kate and Abe backed this tactic on Thursday's episode of Days. Abe paid Leo a visit when he actually woke up to ensure he understood the message regarding writing in Joy's character. Leo's Halloween nightmare won't come true, according to Days of Our Lives spoilers, but there will be a lot more body and soul conflict in the future. Make CDL your preferred DOL hub if you're looking for amazing Days of Our Lives spoilers, predictions, news, and updates, although the secret is still a secret, as of today's episode of Days of Our Lives, Johnny and Joy have finally realized the terrible truth that they will be collaborating. Furthermore, we're rather certain that neither of them will want the world to know that they've previously met and done something improper. Although the program has been a little evasive about whether or not they actually did the deed, Friday's episode teasers definitely imply that they did, as Johnny tries to persuade Joy to preserve their secret. However, that secret might have been as, relatively, harmless as Johnny not wanting Chanel to know that he misplaced his wedding ring after sleeping off his drunken bender at a random woman's house, even if nothing happened, we could understand his desire to hide it from his wife. However, Carson Boatman now admits to Soap Opera Digest that Joy and Johnny did share a bed. And it's killing Johnny. She's going to be even more mad, to the nth degree, Johnny muses to himself if Chanel finds out. Therefore, he believes that keeping this a secret is the only way he can save his marriage. And the only way to accomplish that is to persuade Joy to remain silent while continuing to tell lies. Then, for good measure, perhaps tell a few more lies. Because everything that has transpired has just made Johnny want to fight as hard as he can to keep his marriage intact, even if he has acted in a terrible manner against his wife. Boatman informed SOD that he loves her more than ever right now. It seems as though you are unaware of what you have until it is taken away. He loves her as though she might already be gone because he is almost understanding what it would be like to lose her. It's another question, though, if he can truly save his marriage. Knowing that Johnny was the one who cheated could make Chanel much more enraged than she already is. What happens if they do part up? Would Johnny return to Joy's embrace? 
Unless a lot of things change, probably not. First of all, even if Johnny and Chanel were hired as a married couple, it is a bit of an HR nightmare for the director to have an affair with a cast member with whom he had no prior history. More significantly, though, Boatman stated, I don't think Johnny wanted one bit to have any form of connection with she simply existed. He was merely snapping a little and, presumably, seeking revenge. Our guess, then? Johnny will be left out in the cold if Chanel is unable to forgive him when everything falls apart. He will be miserable and alone, and he truly has no one to blame except himself. Chad is on a mission now that all of Clyde's schemes involving Kat and Mark are visible on days of our lives. In fact, after giving it some thought, we ought to change the previous statement to read, now that almost all of Clyde's machinations are out. Because this puzzle is still lacking a piece that could have grave consequences, what became of the body of the actual Abigail? Before he decided to ask Clyde directly, Chad insisted on knowing that from Kat in today's episode. You may view the recap of today's events here. Chad's wife's coffin was empty when he had her excavated. Additionally, it appeared that her burial had not been visited in a long time. How did her body end up, if there was ever a body within at all? Was she never laid to rest? With the intention of implementing this plan almost two years after Abigail's passing, did Clyde remove it early on? The possibility that she is genuinely alive and, like Katharina, is being held by Clyde as a precaution is always there. Naturally, he couldn't have sent her back to Chad since he couldn't keep her under control. That might simply be wishful thinking, though. Because, despite his numerous talents, Clyde lacks the Demera resources and a doctor like Dr. Rolf working for him, waiting to save lives. More, Sherry Jimenez resists fans who bully her. Naturally, Kat doesn't know, and the one man who does recently broke out of a maximum security prison because, well, why not? Even while that sounds like awful news, it's possible that the show is finally preparing us for answers. Because Clyde's freedom is now something he stands to lose once more. This implies that he can be forced to reveal anything if he is cornered. And we're willing to wager that's precisely where this is going. If it turns out that Abigail is still very much dead and Clyde returns her body, it could not be a good thing, but instead of sitting in this state of ambiguity, waiting for days of our lives to provide an answer to this final issue, at least we would know for sure. Additionally, it would be good if Jack and Jennifer could finally lay Abigail to rest once and for all, as their next visit for Doug's death is quickly approaching. Joy showed in and gave Johnny a tense look, but Johnny smiled even though he knew she was the same girl he had cheated on the other night. Johnny certainly gave off the impression that he was trying to hide his shock and nervousness. Leo Stark, Greg Rickard, had a complex nightmare in which Reagan was Arrow's vindictive ex-wife. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.